Okay, we're still talking about the rational zeros theorem, and this is another example. We're told to factor x cubed plus x squared plus 2x plus 2. So I look at this 2 and this coefficient here, which is a 1, because this is really a 1x cubed, and I think about factors of 2 over factors of 1. And that's really easy. That could just be plus or minus. Let's see, the factors of 2 are just 1 and 2, and 1 is the only factor of 1, obviously. So we just have plus or minus 1 or 2. So only four possible numbers here that could be rational zeros for this polynomial. So let's try them and see what we get. We'll start with 1. And this is pretty easy. These numbers are easy. 1, 1, 2, and 2. And I'll go through the synthetic division here kind of fast. 1 times 1 is 1. We add and we get 2. 2 times 1 is 2. And we add and we get 4. 4 times 1 is 4. And we add and we get 6. So that didn't work. So let's try 2 and put our coefficients here. 1, 1, 2, 2. Bring down the 1. 1 times 2 is 2. We add and we get 3. And you can probably see already that this isn't going to work because everything's going to be a positive number. 3 times 2 is 6. We add there and we get 8. 8 times 2 is 16 and we get 18. So that didn't work either. So 1 and 2 both failed. So let's come back and try negative 1 and negative 2. We'll do negative 1 first. 1, 1, 2, 2. And here we go. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. We add and we get 0. 0 times negative 1 is 0. We add we get 2. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And we add and we get 0. And there we have it. So we know that x minus negative 1 is a factor. So in other words, that's x plus 1. And then the other factor comes from those numbers. x squared plus 0x plus 2. Now we can see the zeros here. Here um, x is equal to negative 1. And here we can get a 0 if we say x squared plus 2 equals 0. And you see that we, um, we won't have any numbers. There's no number x that you can find that you can square and add 2 to and get 0. If you actually want to work this out, you'd say x squared is negative 2. And I'll scroll down here a little bit. x squared is negative 2. And so x is plus or minus the square root of negative 2. x is plus or minus the square root of 2i. So I'll come down a little bit further. And um, we can write our answer. We can say the zeros are. negative 1, positive square root of 2i, and negative square root of 2i. And then if we wanted to factor it, the, orig the original polynomial factors as x plus 1, x minus the square root of 2i, and x plus the square root of 2i. But rather than giving the complex factors, it would actually be more common to leave it in the, the factored form like we have right here. The linear factor and then what we call the irreducible quadratic. That would be more standard way of factoring it. Although this is fine also. This is certainly mathematically equivalent to the answer that I've boxed up above right there.